Long awaited. Jikan up so too is here. Hello everyone. I'm one of your three co-hosts. I am Maroof, Mad Samurai on the internet. Here first is all in due time lead singer Zeke. What's good, yo? <laughs> <laughs> and uh Nersha Gandhi, let me represent. What's Josh. Good, what's good, what's good, what's good, Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> This whole series is going to be us just ripping on Kyle and nobody knows who the hell Kyle is. I'll oh, bring wow. him on the show one day. That's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like, have you, have you guys saw, saw Bo Jack Horseman? Where he's like, he's like, yo, a crossover special. <laughs> it's like yeah, that. Yeah. I love Bo. I haven't seen that show yet. We got to get to it. Yeah, oh, that's no, that's great. a great show. Great. Yeah. I think I stopped watching it after like season six. Oh, man. It's you a, have to go back and watch right? the last season. Um, no, Netflix. Oh, I'm not Okay, that makes it easier. I just pop on. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I thought it was Adult Swim. I think it's because of the uh, the art style. Uh, oh, that's something on Adult Swim, probably. It does. I feel like it could have like last if it, it would have came out a decade ago, it would have probably been on Adult Swim. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna start with just the usual updates for things for Geek Out here. This is our second episode after what three months. And, yeah. You know it. It, it happens because we're gonna be trying to figure everything out. People have a, people have lives, and then the virus. So you know, makes saying yeah. everything everything is hard now. Uh, Zeke, what you got going on? <clears throat> Recently, I just been trying to be more healthy. I'm actually um, cutting out grass from my diet. Not grass. I'm an idiot. Grease. <laughs> 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 Grease from my diet. I'm I am no longer a donkey. Some platanos. <laughs> uh, platanos. Some, uh, That's why they call me Thanos. Some boiled eggs. <laughs> That's uh, usually my, my regular diet now. Just very healthy things. Nothing too crazy. The platanos aren't very healthy. They're fried. But, you know, Dominican, so I have to them. <laughs> yeah, you got to put it in your diet, you know. Exactly. That's what you got going on, man. I've just been trying to be a little bit more organized. I got a new iPad, so if you guys notice, we have a new intro. And um, for now, when I'm going to be editing on LumaFusion, so I'm just learning new stuff. Like I'm learning stuff about video editing, and I'm also learning stuff about to draw, so I can also help do the thumbnails and shit. So, yeah, mm. everything's been pretty good. We just been hanging in there. And oh. for myself, you could hear the screaming in the background. There's a lot of kids in the house now. Lots of family <laughs> having babies. Yeah, he, he's on his twelfth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me. I, I am on my twelfth kid. <laughs> Yeah. I am on my 12th kid. I just had my 12th one. I breathed it myself, well, goddammit. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fun story I'll tell you guys later off screen of this. But um, yeah. also, uh, I graduated, so I'm done with college for now. Congratulations. So I have a oh, um, bachelor's degree in psychology. That's and uh, we'll see what I do after that. <laughs> I don't know yet. We'll see. Corona's kind of put my whole life on pause. Yeah. We'll That's see how awesome. it goes. Everybody's yeah, no, and, on pause, I think. Yeah, it's hard. But we're getting, at least New York is getting better at the least. I think out of everywhere, we're going to be the first one that's going to, re- at least in the States, that's going to return to some kind of normalcy. I don't I know when so, that's going to yeah. happen, but yeah. it should be the first. Yeah, um, they're going back to school soon. You know that because my, my dad works in schools and they're all going to go back. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, that's crazy. My I don't kids, think it's a good idea. My kids are going back. When I What I mean by kids is uh, my <laughs> siblings. I don't have kids. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they're going back to school this September, so they're opening nice. everything back up, man. Uh, my nephew, he should be starting actually online classes because he is preschool. Yeah, preschool. Mm-hmm. All that. Oh. So, we'll so uh, we're gonna start with game thoughts because this primarily at first was a gaming podcast. So yeah. before anything, like we don't have like, so this is still a work in progress kind of thing. So I don't really have fancy titles for these things yet. We'll get to it eventually. We'll think of some yeah, fancy yeah, like, sure. yeah, topic yeah. names and maybe editing will figure out like make a fancy title card for us or something, which Josh should be working on because he does new programs for that. Yeah, exactly. I should be, this video should look better than the other one. If not, then I, I failed you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> it'll take time. Good. It'll take time. Yeah. You so learn slow. Is. So there's a lot of gaming stuff I want to talk about, but first we're going to talk about next gen consoles in general and our thoughts of the PS5 and the Xbox Series X and whatever else Nintendo has out there asked eventually. Zeke, you go first. Yeah, um, I heard Nintendo was coming out with the Nintendo Switch Pro or something like that. I heard, I don't know if it's true. Maybe you guys can tell me a little bit about that. Like what what have you heard? No idea. 
No, that's not happening. That's not. That's you not know what Nintendo is gonna be doing for the next like couple months? They're gonna re-release Mario. <laughs> no, Animal Crossing all day. It's no more yeah. Nintendo. It's just Animal Crossing over and over and DLC. They they yeah. decided since they they decided since it's the number one game that they've ever sold that they're never gonna release another game again. It's just gonna be Animal Crossing. So Animal Crossing has outsold almost every other Switch game in Japan right now. Really. Insane. Yeah. That's yeah. Insane. So they're just like they're just like totally why, what's the point of making an like what's the point of making another game? We could just keep putting out Animal Crossing. They're just gonna make Animal Crossing one again in Asia. Again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's gonna be. I would uh, appreciate the Animal Crossing one was actually, in my opinion, one of the better ones because it had like that was a GameCube characters. one, right? Yes, the the GameCube mm. one, and the villagers were actually assholes to you. Like they were like, "Yo, really? get the fuck off my island." They were so mean, and now it's like everything so sanitized <laughs> and everything. But it's like, mm -hmm. yo, back then, like. We could we could take more. Real quick, I want to. I, I do want to mention that the next episode I want us to do is a GameCube centric episode. Okay. So, yeah, yeah I would love that. We could do that for sure. Yeah. Uh, I remember playing see? freaking uh, Torok. Uh, that dinosaur. Yeah, game Torok was fun. Yeah. yeah, that was such a good game. Yeah, yeah. But um, just to answer your question on in all seriousness, Nintendo hasn't announced anything yet. They've been very very quiet this year. Like we haven't gotten many announcements at all. The only thing that we really know about was Paper Mario, which just came out, which. I heard it was a pretty good game, not a thousand year door, but not, you know, not I, as bad I, as what's the one sticker star. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I've been thinking about buying it, but I'm not really a fan of the battle system of it. Yeah, I it's heard. definitely it's definitely more adventure than RPG. Yeah. yeah. But I, I do want to play it when I get the chance to one day because uh, I, I have heard that it's good. It's a step in the right right direction for both Cape Martin. So. Mm -hmm. I was actually, because with this new iPad, which is great, it could play GameCube games at full speed and also Wii games at full speed. So I was yeah. actually playing a little bit of Thousand Year Door and I was playing um, Super Paper Mario. And Super Paper Mario was actually really good. They changed the battle system completely, so it's not RPG, but I actually pretty much enjoy it. Like, I, I don't mind them going into a different direction RPG-wise, as long as the story is really good. But Sticker Star had a tear, like, this, there was no story in Sticker Star, so I was like, <laughs> what's the point of this? Super Paper Mario is a really underrated game, I think, just because it, it wasn't the original Paper Mario battle system, but it has a story that I think that almost like i think it's a little better than thousand year door like in terms of story yeah that's my it's, opinion it's very funny too like i, I yeah, just appreciate good funny. humor in mario games yeah but um and i heard i've heard origami king has that same kind of comedy still like that classic comedy of big mario that's always there it's good, so yeah from what i've seen in gameplay it does but just yeah. to just to go back to the point about next generation next generation consoles just to keep it on, on the same page it's like we haven't got, we don't have anywhere. Only thing that we've heard about was um, what's it called, Paper Mario and Animal Crossing has been released, and we really don't know anything else that's what's coming up with on um, Nintendo. There might be a Nintendo Direct, which if you don't know what it is, it's just like they give you it's a video with a bunch of Nintendo news with it yeah. and new new games. So like we don't know anything. It could happen. It could be like a shadow drop. But in my opinion, we're not going to get that for a couple years. Yeah. Okay. I got you. I mean, that was my only. Uh like question because I, I i really want to get a switch but i'm like if they're coming up with pro i might as well wait for that you know? i feel like right I now yeah, right now ahead. is the best time to get a switch if you can because they're the, the 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 original switch is becoming limited but they're making the new uh, switch light and it's just with rona making everything really hard to get a hold of that prices are gonna raise fast probably facts i've been uh um, oh yeah go ahead no my bad <laughs> it's all good i've been i've been looking for a switch for a while and it's like it's you would think a console would lower in price over time but the switch is the only console i know that has been increasing in price since its launch i'm like that makes no sense why is it higher now than it was you know because it's like, animal just... crossing is on it now <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> animals god damn it now it's That's now their stock went up bro that's what happened. My only, but, um, my, 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 own, my only thought would be probably because uh, people are still buying it anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, like, yeah. And also, but um, the, I was just gonna mention that Devante, one of my friends, he actually just was looking for a Switch, and he asked me if I could find him one because you couldn't find him anywhere. And people mm -hmm. are starting to scalp Switches and get them for all the way to around like five hundred dollars to seven to seven hundred dollars to buy a Switch right now. Jesus. Like, yeah. you, like you can't buy it just to buy it. You have to get it secondhand off somebody. So um, he got a Switch Mini. Switch Mini. <clears throat> I want a regular Switch, bro. I, I won't settle for anything less. <laughs> I feel you. So like, <laughs> I think so, it's best for you if you wait until at least everything with Corona is kind of a little bit more chilled out and Nintendo yeah, talks yeah, about their plan. Yeah, about it, yeah. 
Because they haven't, uh, like, out of all three of the major game companies, like, Nintendo has been the most quiet this year. They really have not made that much noise. True. And we're, as fan, as a big Nintendo fan out of all three of them, I'm the biggest Nintendo fan. I feel like, um, what's the word? I feel like I'm, we're just anxiously waiting for them to tell us what's coming next. Like, th this is actually Mario's 30th anniversary, if anyone never, um, which, wait, is it 30th or 40th, Maru? I think it's 30th. Or 35th. Whatever, 19, this motherfucker. 1980? I don't know. This this motherfucker has been around 40. for a long time, yeah. <laughs> and I will I'll, in the description I will edit that. But this motherfucker yeah. has been out for a long time, and it's an it's an anniversary for yeah. him. So Nintendo's supposed to be doing yeah. something for that, but they haven't mentioned anything. So yeah. um yeah, we're waiting for news for Nintendo, but we should get it pretty soon, hopefully. Yeah, no, let's uh let's move on to Sony, I guess. Uh, Zeke, your overall thoughts on the design of the PS5 and just everything everything that's going around it, I guess. So Shit, whack, man. Nah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fucking the Xbox uh, family. <laughs> uh, it looks, it looks pretty, pretty okay. Uh, there were rumors that the Xbox is priced for around six hundred or something oh. like that. So if they do that, they're definitely gonna lose, <laughs> and PS Five <laughs> is definitely gonna win because PS Five already has the the majority of majority of players on it for now. You know, that's like their uh, that's their selling point. You know, like they have the exclusives, they have the people. Xbox is kind of doing uh, kind of like a games of service type of thing with the Game Pass and all that stuff. So that's like their route. What I this is this is sorry for cutting off, but uh, this is kind of my point of view. I think for Xbox right now is I feel like Xbox doesn't really see their consoles as their main game systems. Yeah, exactly. I feel like they see more see more so since Xbox One, they've been seeing like the PC as our game system or Xbox Game mm -hmm. Pass. Yeah. That's our main system, and then the consoles kind of like a supplement. Exactly, yeah. The console's kind of like if you don't have a PC. Yeah, I can agree with that. Or you don't want to, or you don't have an Xbox and you just want the exclusives, you want the Game Pass, because Game Pass is only available on a PC and Xbox, obviously. You know, but that's kind of like their main selling point, because Game Pass is killing it right now, man. It's like, what, $10, maybe less than $10 a month, and you get like a whole library of games. It's crazy, man. It's kind of like the Netflix of games. Yeah, no, I agree. I, the I future. agree with Xbox, too. Like, I feel like there's I'm sorry for talking you know. off. <laughs> it's like, I agree that I feel like it's sick. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel mm -hmm. like they feel like if you buy the Xbox, you most likely have a Microsoft computer. So it's mm -hmm. like they kind of interact with each other. So yeah, it's, exactly. it's kind of like, um, you know, with Apple, you have the Apple, like the Mac, and then you have the iPad and you have the iPhone and they all work together in certain ways. I think Microsoft is less looking at other video game systems like Sony and Nintendo. They're more looking like Apple and saying like, how could we put all our products and make like a thing so people can just buy our products all together and they can all work together in certain ways. Exactly. So I think Xbox is less of a big console and more of like something that's in the Windows brand or the, not the Windows, the yeah. Microsoft brand. It's a service. And could like be set, I just said, yeah, exactly. Side to side with Windows. Okay. Uh, so I want to kind of move on to another topic. Uh, continue on with games for a bit because... Oh, did we hit PlayStation or no? Well, I'm yeah. sorry. We didn't really talk I'm, about PlayStation. We didn't I kind of really kind of made it an Xbox. Yeah, because I just wanted, <laughs> yeah. I asked about PlayStation. <laughs> kind of that. About the Xbox, yeah. So yeah. for PS Five in general, like I I really I personally really like design. I think the yeah. two systems is kind of smart, but I don't know how it's gonna affect their sales because the all digital and um, you know the one with the disc. I feel like most yeah. gamers on PlayStation don't want all digital. I feel like that's very much an Xbox gamer kind of thing where they want hey. We want um, like everything already on the system, but I feel like a lot more Sony fans yeah, are collectors mm -hmm. and they like the, the the boxes and the exclusives and stuff like that. I'm a, so I don't know how to feel about that. I'm gonna disagree with that because you know. How do you guys I'm, feel about okay. the look of the console, like the overall? I like it. You know the overall like shape it. of it, how it's like white and the color scheme. I enjoy. I I, I, I like it. It looks. <laughs> You're very, you look very quiet. <laughs> Um, I'm, <laughs> I like the Xbox design a lot better <laughs> than the PlayStation <laughs> one. The fucking PS5 just looks like a fucking modem. Like, a, like, I'm more <laughs> for, me, for me, for me, the Xbox X sounds like a mini fridge, you know, like, a, yeah, like a small, like a thing mini fridge. But so, I like, like that both consoles have all the time because we have good, good fucking consoles. <laughs> right? Yeah, now. Nintendo has like the, <laughs> the unique console. But yeah. no, I, I, personally for me though, I like yeah. I like the I'm with my roof. I kind of like the the overall style. It kind of has a sleek kind of look, and I felt like with every PlayStation because I've owned every PlayStation. So if I'm, I, I consider myself a Nintendo fan first, 
but I'm also a big PlayStation fan. And a lot of people don't know, like everyone says, oh, you don't know shit about PlayStation. I'm like, bro, I have every single PlayStation console. So what are you talking about? <laughs> That's a shot to trade. Yeah, like people, anyway. people don't fathom People don't find that you can like everything now because I yeah, literally exactly. had a uh, console from every gener from every company, like literally since I was a kid. So exactly. Yeah. So, but um, I noticed that like PlayStation Two and PlayStation Three and PlayStation Four, they're all kind of like aping on each other's design and taking it into like a newer, sleeker direction. And I feel this is the first time in a while where we've gotten a completely different design for the console. And I know, like, I just feel like it's it's something that's different. I don't think that people are like some people are not gonna like it, some people are gonna like it. But overall, it's like it catches your attention. You're like, oh shit, that's the PS5. It's definitely a risk. Yeah, definitely a risk. I would say. Yeah. Risk. Though. I would say what do you guys exactly. feel about the games that have been announced though? Like, you know, I mean, I didn't want to skip this topic because I feel like PlayStation. Out of all of them, I think PlayStation has given us the most information out of like what we're gonna get. Yeah. What? Uh, um, go ahead, Zeke. You're gonna say something. Uh, what, what did you just say? Oh, I said, like, <laughs> what games are you... <laughs> what games, like, what do you guys think of the games that have been announced? Like, the ones off the top of my head that I know are, like, the Miles Morales game with, mm -hmm. with Spider-Man. That one's out. Mm -hmm. um, Ratchet and Clank is going to have one. Mm -hmm. There is going to be... What's what's that? Horizon? Horizon Zero Dawn? Yeah, the next the Horizon. Um, yeah. Yeah. They're going to be a new Resident Evil. Like, Resident Evil, I think, what, eight? Resident Evil's... Um, this is nine. This is nine. No, yeah, it's my bad. Yeah. I'm not a big Resident Evil guy, but yeah, Resident Evil Nine. <laughs> so like, there's a lot. There's a lot of different games announced. So I just wanted to know, like, what's your opinions? What games would you guys want to pick up? You know, which games don't you like? Do you feel like they have a good schedule for it? Uh, I would say Marvel's Avengers. I'm very disappointed in that that game, especially but with the exclusive. That's on the PS4, though. I think it it is on the PS4. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're talking about next year, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Right. <laughs> um, Amazing. Beautiful. Um, next thing, next thing. Um, I'm really excited for Horizon because that story was really, uh, was really good. I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah, yeah. I I never got to finish the original Horizon, but I definitely want to try to get to that one day. And then this sequel looks just as good. So yeah. yeah for me, um, it looks beautiful though. I was excited for Marvel Spider-Man, the Miles Morales one. And so I heard that it wasn't necessarily a sequel, but more like an add-on. So I'm not sure yeah. what they meant by that. So I'm interested to see what what they mean by that. that. Other than that, the games look fine. It's it's Sony. They usually have great exclusives, so can't really like mm -hmm. fault True. any of them. Ratchet and Clank looks amazing. And yeah, I want to really just I just want to say that. something real quick. Ratchet and Clank. Right. What I like about it is like the whole thing where they go into different dimensions. Like it just seems like a concept that you can only really do on next gen. Like it takes mm -hmm. a lot of like actual processing power that like the PlayStation. Five has that like the PlayStation 4 couldn't do and that's the things that I'm excited for I'm excited for the stuff that you can't do on the PlayStation 4 because it didn't have enough uh, enough yeah. RAM it didn't have enough, enough power you know what I mean so that's the thing I'm excited for yeah honestly and for I feel like Resident Evil 9 so that honestly for originally I don't know if anyone else like Resident Evil 9 didn't look kind of special for me when they first revealed it but I, I guess it's just because they were running like it's an early beta or something like that maybe. But it, it doesn't look bad like Captain Birthday or like eight, eight look eight was it eight or seven? I don't, the numbers are all off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven. Was all, seven. I don't remember. Was it seven that was last one? So seven, this one's eight seven. then. Yeah. Yeah, I think this one's eight because yeah, I it wasn't okay. it like yeah. Resident Evil like Village because like they yeah. made that into like a village. I was like mm -hmm. cool because. I played Resident Evil Seven a while ago, but I, uh, it was one of those games that like I just didn't get into the finish. So I'm guessing that was a little, that, that was the last one. So it looked yeah. like that game when that game was revealed. I remember people were hyped and it looked amazing. It felt like a next gen game, even though it wasn't on next gen. But I feel like Resident Evil Eight when they showed it off, it didn't feel like next gen. That's just my opinion. Yeah, I mean, like no, no, I agree. It was just a trailer, right? Yeah, it was just a trailer. We also got that thing from Square Enix that was like, it wasn't Final Fantasy, <laughs> but it was, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I remember like that. Like a tech demo or some shit. Like, that was, Proj I think it's Project of Aaliyah, not Aaliyah, Aaliyah. Honestly, with Square Enix, I won't be surprised in like a few years it becomes a Final Fantasy game. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was, that's so, basically what I was going to go into. Yeah. I'm like, do you think that that's going to be kind of the basis of the next Final Fantasy, or do you think that they're going to go in a completely different direction? I, I, I've given up trying to predict Final Fantasy after <laughs> Final Fantasy. Uh, versus 15, 15 debacle because you can never expect anything out of Enix anymore. Oh, one thing I want to say about Xbox real quick is uh, Zeke, you thought with the whole um, release date for Halo changing because I feel like Halo was going to be the big seller for its day one. Um, like like I said before, uh, Xbox is definitely playing the games of service 
route, mm-hmm. you know. So if their Xbox doesn't sell well, I don't think it'll be a big hit for them because mm-hmm. they're focusing. I, at least I think from uh, what I've seen, they're focusing on bringing in more uh, companies to make more exclusives. Halo, they delayed it because of COVID reasons because they wanted to um, make sure it was perfect, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It could have been because of the criticism as well, <laughs> but I, 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 I like to believe that they're really trying to make uh, this game good. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, you can only hope. Yeah, but uh, it's definitely no, going to hurt their sales for sure. Yeah, for sure yeah, it's definitely. Hurt their question, question. Master yeah. Chief and Smash? Yeah, that? do it. <laughs> Honestly, with, with, with how Sony and Microsoft have been so, not, not, Microsoft and Nintendo have been so buddy-buddy that I wouldn't be surprised. I I hope so, man. You know what I'm saying? And like, it would be a pretty cool cross promotion if they're making a new. I don't really know too much about Halo, but I know that they're you, they're assumingly what was is there going to be a new Halo game or is it going to be a remake? Like what? what yeah, is, it's a new Halo game. It's a new so game. like, so yeah. it would be dope cross promotion. You know what I'm saying? Maybe mm-hmm. even as their last character because that would be the last one. Some more eyes would be on it. I'd find it interesting. I hope they do oh, it. We can. <laughs> it'll be fun. Yeah, to be honest. All right, now let's actually form move on to the next thing real quick. And just like in general, tell us like what game are you playing right now? And Zeke, I know you want to talk about Yakuza because you just freaking bought a PS4 just to play Yakuza. So Zeke, yes. go ahead. Yes, I have. <laughs> you want to you want to go first and, and uh yeah, go ahead. Talk about it? Yeah. So I just bought a PS4 <laughs> to play <laughs> Yakuza. Uh, I bought um. Welcome Yakuza. to the right side of history. Oh yeah. <laughs> Listen, man, there is no right side. They all contribute. Uh, I'm Everybody not going to comment on that. No. Everyone, just love what you love. Just love what you love. Love what you love. Yeah. Love um, is love, man. So, yeah, I bought, I bought a PS4 to play Yakuza. I bought Yakuza 3, 4, 5. It's like the collection. Uh, I have it in there. I don't want... If you could see back there, I have, like, the Yakuza 6 Legendary Collector's Edition. That's, like, it brings, like, shot glasses and stuff. It's awesome. I haven't played that yet. I'm, I'm on Kiwami 2, playing that on PC right now. I'm, like, chapter... 11 ish so near the end and then i'm gonna hop on this bad boy right here and start playing the, the ps playstation game so i haven't gotten into it yet i also got a uh, ghost of tsushima on playstation very excited Fantastic. for that yeah so that's 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 what i got on playstation man Josh, i want to spoil the game are you checking out right now <laughs> um well first of all since i got this new ipad this this is so great for like emulation so i like em- i'm emulating like a bunch of um GameCube ROMs and basically playing it. So like I'm really ghetto at this moment, but it's it's dope. Like I'm I'm playing these like Wii games and these GameCube games with my PlayStation controller on my iPad, and I'm just like this is some next level shit. But it it works out though. It's very fun to use, and it's like they all run in full speed. So I have like a whole collection of games I've been playing from Paper Mario to like Mario Sunshine, um, Metroid Prime. Just been kind of going back into the days and just trying to get that feeling back, and it's it's great. Um, I also, I haven't really, like I said, Nintendo hasn't really given us too much. So, like, I haven't been playing a lot of new games from it. I haven't got the new Paper Mario yet. But um, I've gotten some older games. Like, I got Crash Bandicoot. Like, it was on sale. And I was just like, I want to pick that up because that's childhood. You know what I mean? And it's a great game. And also, I got... Have you seen the trailer for uh, Crash 4? I I actually did. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Like, I'll pick it up. Like, probably when it goes on sale, I'll probably pick it up. I'll probably pick it up day one because my family just... So, so it's big crash nerds. Like that was our I game. I feel bro. you. So, like some people are like that. Some people are like crash was like my thing. You know what I mean? Same thing. Some people were Mario people. Other people were Sonic people. So I feel you. But um, yeah, crash is, was always like more of a second, like not as big for me. But um, I mean, I'm definitely gonna pick it up at one point. But uh, and the last thing that I've gotten is which we call Final Fantasy XII. Um, I never played that game before, and like I said, I I was actually very surprised how similar that game is to Xenoblade. With just like the battle system like you know what i mean like yeah, yeah. i was like wow like this is like like but i but in a way it kind of just because i felt like xenoblade was a lot better just from what i played of both games so it kind of like took me out the experience because i was just like man like th- like i like how xenoblade kind of did it with like the arts and everything i feel this mm-hmm. is a bit more simplistic but i feel like that game did come out before xenoblade am i right or not uh i think so just from like just by a year or so maybe like yeah all- so I yeah, because I think that came out like twenty, like like two thousand five, two thousand six, and Xenoblade came out like around Maybe. what, like twenty two thousand eight, eight, eight nine, nine, yeah, yeah. Eight, nine. So it had like a, it has some seniority with that. So I don't expect it to be as advanced as Xenoblade, but just going back to it is just kind of like, whoa, 
I would kind of make a couple of changes here and there to the gameplay, but I'm still very early in it, so maybe it gets more advanced as it goes on. But um, yeah, those are the games I'm playing. I haven't played Final Fantasy XII in years. I don't remember much from it, but I do remember enjoying the overall like, story and everything. So, yeah, it was pretty good. Like, the story's pretty good. All right, uh, that ends that, I guess. But just to save time, I'm just telling you, like, I haven't been playing much at all. <laughs> it's been really, like, uh, I guess I've been kind of in a slump when it comes to video games, recently. Not yeah. because of anything that anyone's putting out, just like me, myself, personally, I just haven't been putting effort into like buying a game and just like, putting, you know, time into it. But that's going to change soon, hopefully, with everything. I want to play Paper Mario. I want to buy Ghost of Tsushima, obviously, that game is amazing. Oh, yeah, that's gonna, that's a great game, And too. I do want to try to get into Yakuza for Zeke, for because I played Zero a long time ago and never finished it, so. I do think, like... This is just my idea, and then we're going to, you know, go to the next topic. But I just want to say, like, I think the lack of an E3 this year kind of made gaming, because I, you said, like, you're not as into it because maybe you're, like, your personal life, and I agree with that. But I feel like I'm not as into gaming as I was last year, too. And I think because maybe because we didn't have E3 and we don't have, like, announcements coming as often, it just feels like it's on a low. And I think a lot of that has to do with COVID. But, um, yeah, yeah, what do you guys think about that? I actually uh, been playing way too much gaming, so I'm actually taking a break. <laughs> I've been playing too much, so I'm, I'm kind of like, like my gaming went from playing like maybe uh, like an hour a day, or maybe a few hours a week, to playing like 24 seven. Because you, you got more time to do it now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, got you got more, more time. time and stuff now, but it's like. But it's with me. It's more like new releases. You know what I mean? Like I don't see like games that I like really want to get or I'm excited for. Like okay. if they like announce Zelda Breath of the Wild two and they mm -hmm. gave us more details on that, I would be like super excited. But like, I'm at a point where it's just like, well, we don't know anything. I don't know anything about Mario. I don't know anything. So I'm like, whatever, I'm do something else that gives me more. I just feel like it's, uh, it's different for everyone because I feel like for someone like Zeke who would always tour with his band or just go out to enjoy himself, when he would come home and he, that would be the only time he'd play games, but now he's home all the time. So that mm -hmm. games have become like your outlet of this whole Pandemic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and for me personally, who I used to play games all the time as a kid, I didn't go out much because I was very much an introvert. Um, even now, I still prefer to stay inside most of the time. But uh, I guess because you become numb to things, and during the pandemic, when we're not getting a lot of information of games, I think Josh agrees with this. I you just your your enthusiasm for playing it also kind of dies down. I yeah, I totally agree with that, and I feel like it. I think it will definitely come back over time. Especially when, as we transition into like you know a sense of normalcy, I don't know how far it's going to go, but um, you know we're, we're, I think I'm gonna get my excitement for gaming back. But right now, it's just more like okay, I, I'll just play some old stuff that I like and see what happens. But I'm not really too excited for anything. Yeah, for for me, um, actually, um, I have I never like like Maru said, I always had like something else to do, so I never played a lot of old games. So right now, I'm just playing catch up, you know, and I got a PC. So I'm playing a lot of PC games and that library is huge. So I, like right now I have like an infinite, um, it feels like an infinite amount of games I haven't played yet. And I just got a PlayStation. I haven't had that in a while. Playing yeah, we need, an so, idea yeah, yeah. would be, a really good idea would be, um, sorry for interrupting the last part, but I was just like, a really good idea would be like a, a backlog, like episode where all three of us just kind of talk about games that we had, but we never finished. And mm -hmm. we just kind of like mm -hmm. go off about yeah. those kind of games because I feel like That's a lot funny. of times we're all as gamers we're so excited for the next big like shiny thing that it's like there's so many games that we have that we just never finished and it's like let's go back and see if we can beat them and and you know what I mean and give our full thoughts on them you know what I mean that would be for a, sure, a for sure. yeah. yeah yeah that'd be fun uh, so I guess moving on we're still kind of sticking to games but it's also kind of transitioning to the next topic which we're gonna talk about some movies. Uh, let's talk about the DC fandom that just happened yesterday. At least the time of this recording happened yesterday. For comic book nerds like myself and Zeke, there's so much information that came out from that thing oh, yeah, yeah. in one sitting. We had trailers all day for different things. And since we're sticking with games right now, let's talk about Gotham Knights first. Zeke, Gotham you see the trailer. I don't know, John, was... you haven't seen the trailer yet. I haven't but, seen uh, the trailer for either of the, um, the games yet. I, I don't want to say, like, pop it up and let him see it right now and share screen, but because I don't okay. know if it's going to affect us our monetization or anything like that, but well, nah, not like monetization, but like I mean, uh, it. you want to see but, it, uh, we could just edit it yeah, out. Yeah, we could, we could should be pop it up. Right? Yeah, I guess try yeah. it, and if they edit us, then, you know, we could always edit that part out. So I should get edit this part out, too, I'm just talking about, like, if you want to pop it up. Yeah, 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 yeah I can, I'm going to edit uh, this whole, like, all the parts we don't need, I'll edit out. We'll watch it, we'll react to it, but, man, when I saw this trailer, bro, I was 
in tears. It looks My amazing. question is, is it like a sequel to like those like Arkham Knight games, Arkham Asylum and shit, or is it like a completely new thing? So apparently it's uh, a new universe. Apparently that's what they say. Yeah, they're saying it's a new universe that's not connected to those games. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Actually, they're saying that the Suicide Squad, the squad game that I also want to talk about, the Kill the Justice League mm-hmm. game, is actually connected to that universe. Exactly, not yeah. Gotham Knights, which is weird yeah. to me, but... It I is guess, because, like, you'll see why when you see the trailer on why they said it's a different universe, so they don't want to do something. Which we'll yeah, talk exactly. Because yeah. Oracle well, can walk now. <laughs> you know? Uh, uh, I, I, I just want to mention, the, while Zeke pulls that up, I want to mention the Suicide Squad trailer real quick. Because I don't want to like show off too much, but uh, and that's like I guess the more least in hyped game in this situation. Yeah. But that game also looks pretty good. Apparently, it's gonna be an FPS. I'm not sure how I feel about that, or if it's gonna be a full FPS. I might even just like hearsay. But it's gonna be an FPS. It looks really. That, that's what I heard. Which I don't know how much I believe, hmm. or maybe it's probably gonna be like a first-person adventure game or something like that. I I, I honestly think that's probably more of the case. An FPS. Are you playing as the characters in the Suicide Squad? Or are you making yes, you're playing as character? Harley Quinn, Deadshot, uh, King Shark, I think, Cap- Captain Boomerang, and which one more I forgot? Am I playing as one? Uh, Harley Quinn, Boomerang, uh, Shark, and uh, Deadshot. That four only. Uh, right? I thought it was that's pretty one. interesting. Yeah, yeah. But uh, oh, fun fact for wrestling fans: Samoa Joe is playing King Shark. Which is freaking awesome. Oh really? Yeah, that's nice. freaking awesome. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. I gotta admit though, DC is kind of like rounding out their bases. Like they're like, okay, we're gonna get these games, we got the movies, we're gonna put them around the same time to get people excited with everything. Like I said, DC has a little flow right now. I feel like Marvel has been on top for so long movie-wise, and it's like now they're kind of hitting a slump with the um with Black Widow. You know what I mean? I don't think they know exactly what to do with that movie right now, and like that's holding them back from the hype yeah. that they had last year with Endgame and yeah. um Spider-Man Far From Home. Yeah. Who knows when you take your time to make a whole universe, then that actually works out. Yeah. Who knew? But I think they're on the right path for sure. Uh, yeah. Like, like uh, we talked about yesterday. Um, DC always had their animation down. You know. Yeah, oh, they're about, always yeah. the best at animation. Yeah, their games for the most part too. I really enjoyed a lot of DC games. Mm-hmm. Uh, the uh, what was it? Mortal Kombat versus the DC Universe and. All those Batman games from PS2 yeah. era. They've always been pretty good. Batman 64. Yeah. Uh, we don't talk about that one. We don't talk about that one. <laughs> those, those are great. Um, before we continue, though, can you uh, put the, the the share screen? It says I need permission for yeah. that. Yeah, Josh. Yes, uh, real quick, uh, before you oh, wait, do that, I, I not that mm-hmm. Yeah, you can do the share screen. Uh, we're talking about that. Uh, the Suicide Squad movie. I don't want to touch on that one. Much yeah. too. Try that. We didn't get a lot of information. Yeah, that. But the Suicide Squad movie that's coming out, directed by James Gunn, looks pretty good too, in yeah. my opinion. I think that's going to be pretty fun. Uh, another thing for wrestling fans, John Cena's playing a character, a peacemaker in there, which is pretty funny. He looks, uh, he looks amazing uh, with the suit on, it's great. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not that familiar with Peacemaker, but just him describing me as a douchey Captain America is fucking great. That's yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, that's John Cena, basically, a douchey yeah, Captain yeah. America. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah perfect, like, right? honestly. Oh ahead, yeah, you want me? I was just about to say, like, I feel like, I feel like there's, cause the first, how, how do we feel about the first Suicide Squad movie? Cause I feel like it was, it was good. Like it wasn't great, but it was good. What do you guys think? Or do you think it's just like trash? I think it was fine, like a fine sit down and watch kind of movie, but it's not something that's like worth a rewatch or worth like you know, I guess watching more than once ever. <laughs> yeah, I just but feel like I it's like a rental fine. kind of movie. Like if it's on yeah. TV, I'll watch it. Like it's not, it's not, it's not offensive to me. Like Batman versus Superman, where it was like I hate this movie. Even when I was in theater, I went to walk out. Like it was a, it was okay for what it was. But I feel like they're putting a lot more effort into this movie from what I saw with the trailer. Like you have James Gunn directing it, and James Gunn like kills like with um Guardians of the Galaxy is amazing, and it has mm-hmm. the like a really great tone when it comes with comedic and um superhero and i think like that's a great tone for the suicide squad and then you have all these new actors that i think are going to be really great like El- like idris elba is like an amazing actor so to have him inside of there yeah to have somebody like yeah. john cena like as you guys said i think this one has a lot more potential than the first one yeah, i don't know does, if it's necessarily yeah. going to, i don't know if it's necessarily going to be as good or or going to be a good movie but i just have more faith in it and from what i've seen from those two trailers i saw one which was just like them showing all the characters and I saw another one, which is like behind the scenes, talking about like James Gunn and stuff. From everything that I've seen, it seems like they're they're 
they understand what the fans didn't like at the first movie and they're gonna try and make a better one this time so i'm, I'm excited for it I'll, i'm definitely gonna give it a watch have you guys watched um harley quinn uh i have, I have. she had a movie <laughs> <laughs> i had no idea <laughs> yeah, um, what's it called? Yeah, the there Birds was a Prey, yeah, there was a Birds of Prey movie with Harley Quinn, and it was okay. I enjoyed it. It was okay. No, it was yeah, better I, than Suicide I Squad. I haven't watched it either. What? It was better than Suicide Squad. I saw it. That's yeah. all that matters. Yeah, I haven't watched it either, but I just wanted to know if you guys had any opinions on it. Um, yeah. Zeke, did, did you enjoy you the first one? Me? Uh, Suicide Squad. Uh, same opinion as you guys. It was okay. It wasn't like the best thing in the world, but okay. You know, yeah, no, that's that. I think that's a consensus for a lot of people that kind of enjoy the movie. They're like, it's okay. It's not. Yeah. It's not the worst, but it's not like it's not anything special. Yeah, yeah it's not the channel? worst thing I've yeah. seen. But yeah, go on. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Do you have the, yeah, you got the, yeah, the video the share screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I got put you, it on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me scratch my eyes. Yeah, let's, let's have Josh look at this trailer, and then we'll talk about uh, the Batman movie. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh man, the Batman movie. Take this, share. There you go. Yeah, you got it. Okay. That's what's up. All um, How can I play it? Where is it? Hello. There you go. All right, Josh, enjoy. Oh my God, man! Even the logo, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Am I watching? Damn. <laughs> Yo, man, that fucking trailer gave me goosebumps when i first saw it before we say spoilery stuff because we're comic book nerds josh non-comic book nerds thoughts i mean it looks very epic i'm not gonna lie to you it looks very epic and i like the fact that because like i don't like i said i don't really know anything about comic books but from mm -hmm. i don't even play the games really but the best way i can say it, it seems like in the very beginning it was like bruce wayne and he was saying that he's like is he either retiring or he's gonna be dead or like what what's happening it said he's dead he, he straight up so, said he's dead yeah he said he's dead okay so then with that he's kind of passing it on to robin it looked like batwoman it looked like nightwing who was the other one uh it was red hood batgirl nightwing and then robin okay mm -hmm. so like yeah. that seemed interesting that you'd be able to play as all four of those characters and and learn those different skills and everything it seemed very dark which is great for a batman game like it's definitely gotham it felt atmospheric like like most of the gotham games mm -hmm. um what else can I say? It kind of reminded me a little bit of Spider-Man in a bit, but like not too much. I'm just talking about like the, the Spider-Man game that came on play, PlayStation mm -hmm. 4. And we, yeah, I just don't know what was up with that ending. Like I don't, like as a comic, as someone who doesn't read comic books, I really don't know what the hell that was about. That was just like, yo, it went all like saw for a second. I was just like, what the fuck? Well, um, <laughs> it's like, that was the Court of Owls. <laughs> which is, uh, Zeke, in, Zeke, you want to nerd out about this right now? It's, uh, it's an amazing story, and it's really great. Uh, you, you go, you go ahead. You explain. So I don't want to spoil too much if Josh plans on playing this game, or eventually if there's a Court of Owls movie that you might want to check out. Because uh, so Court of Owls was a pretty new storyline that came out in 2011, I think, or 2012 for DC okay, Comics. Yeah, yeah. A okay. relatively new villain group. Essentially, they're the high society of um, Gotham. They're like the Illuminati of Gotham. And essentially, they run everything behind uh, behind Gotham. And Bruce was, I don't, he, Bruce like never knew they existed. So like, the whole point of the storyline was the mystery of how does this thing exist in Gotham? And I didn't know about it. And I'm Bruce Wayne, I'm Batman. Interesting. And apparently, I, I think it's some, I don't remember exactly, but I think either his father was a part of it or his father was fighting against it. I don't remember exactly. I think in the storyline, his father was like an undercover agent or something like that. Because Bruce, oh, said, so. he was a uh, yeah. part of it, but then he found out later he was just fighting, fighting them. From what I remember, it's been a while. Yeah, it's. It was, I think this came out 2012. <laughs> That's when I first wow. read it. Yeah. So it's a relatively new plot line, and the fact that it's already getting a game appearance is amazing to me. And yeah. seeing how people love the Court of Owls, it's amazing that yeah. it's becoming a centerpiece of all the well, that's cool. That's really cool for the fans. You know what I'm saying? That because I didn't know. I was like, what the hell am I watching? <laughs> Some, something I do want to say is I love the character design, though. I love how uh, oh, yeah. Jason has the, the white streak. Yeah, I mean, the white streak for Red Hood. It's always. Yeah, yeah. Freaking coming out the Lazarus pit and everything. It's great. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's very uh, comic booky. 
Zeke I'm is like the fan. ultimate Jason uh, <laughs> fanboy. So yeah, I am, and I just I love I love the design, the combat. I'll show you gameplay now after we finish talking about it for a while. Yeah, sure. Batgirl was great. I was a little confused because in the the Arkham games, um, she was Oracle, uh, mm-hmm. and Oracle is kind of Batgirl. But back is Oracle. I think is I think she was Batgirl before. In the she comic? was Batgirl first, and I think then after the whole thing with Joker that made her paralyzed, yeah. she became. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I think eventually in the comics she got her legs back, like to walk again. Yeah. But that exactly. didn't happen until around the, I think the quarter of time. So I think it would make yeah. sense if she was Batgirl again. So. Exactly. But it is. That's it also is why it's confusing if in like what universe this game takes place. In yeah. Moment. Exactly. And I yeah. understand that, like in certain ways, like with things with different universes and stuff, I I can get that. I can get confusion. Yeah, and um, James Gordon is dead in this universe. Yeah, James Gordon dead. Apparently, Bruce Wayne's dead. We'll yeah, see what happens apparently. There. I believe he's yeah. not. I have yeah. DLC. He's undercover. <laughs> yeah. DLC. He's probably undercover on the Court of Owls or something. That's I can I definitely see that, yeah. Yeah, for sure. But, uh, but uh, it's looking good. I love the design of Talon. Talon looks fucking terrifying, which is fantastic. They, they made yeah. him perfect. So we'll see how that goes. Exactly, yeah. Can't wait, man. Uh, I can Overall, though, like, uh, somebody that's not even like a non-fan, it just it, it looks good. Like it, like the gameplay looks good. Like I like what parts of that gameplay was that all just like cutscenes. I'm gonna looks- show you the gameplay now. Gonna, okay. We have one for gameplay footage. Yeah, you could pull that up real quick before we pull that up. Uh, let's talk about the Batman movie while Zeke pulls that up. Actually, sure. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, I so watched. We also the- a trailer, I think. Right? Yeah, we all saw it. Yeah. Yeah, we all saw it. I actually yeah. haven't seen the trailer in full. I saw okay, so you wanna you wanna you wanna hold on that, and then like after this. Uh, gonna, yeah, like, let, let's do this since we're talking about games. Okay, and yeah, we'll, pull that up and then. Then we'll watch. We'll, so we'll watch both of them back to back then, and then give pull our that thoughts up, and Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so here, this is the gameplay. Um, feel free to comment over the gameplay. Uh, just we could talk over it a bit. Yeah. Let's see. Share. Yeah, it doesn't have to be silent for the whole thing. Just enjoy yeah. it, because the game. It's a gameplay, so it's not like anything is going to be spoiled for you and that, but... Yeah, exactly. Just give your overall thoughts, Josh, as you watch. Yeah. Hi, I'm Patrick Redding, creative director on Gotham Knights. On behalf of the whole team at WB Games Montreal, I'm really honored to give you a quick look at our gameplay. Elliot Center is covered in ice. Whatever's causing this is localized at the top. Oh, I love a good motorcycle. Clip from one of Gotham Knight's villain crimes in a pre-alpha build. So Belfry is this mission is halfway the tower, through the Mr. Freeze storyline. Um, and we're playing Batgirl a dozen or so hours into her character progression. I did notice that uh, they said it's Warner Brothers Montreal. That's the guys who made the Arkham Origins, right? Origins, Not the yeah. original trilogy. They didn't yeah, make exactly. the original trilogy. They made Origins. Exactly, yeah. That's dope. Well, that makes sense why they did it, why it's not like exactly the same time. Hostiles opening fire on upper floors. Air support, can you do a fly around? Freeze has recently returned to Gotham with a mysterious agenda that involves manipulating the weather to flash freeze the city. An important goal for Gotham Knights was that players can play all of the game, either solo or in two-player co-op. Oh, oh that's that. cool. Two-player two co-op? Oof. That's gonna be fun. Robins are also, it looks like Batgirl plays the most like Batman. Her range yeah, for sense. sure. And while Batgirl has mastered some more familiar techniques. That's big. It definitely has that atmosphere. Yeah, that it developed. You can feel that. So I so think in this that's year, universe, oh, go Montaya, ahead. not my bad, Montaya, Montaya, I think is the uh, commissioner now in this universe. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it looks like that because she was a cop in like I think the original comic. So yeah, and she always has been a background character. So I guess they have her as kind of being her, like the Oracle or I guess Gordon in this game. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Because Gordon's dead, so. This doesn't look like a code. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like he's gonna die. My nigga dead. <laughs> <laughs> I love the costume, man. Oh, really how does Mr. Freeze always have the best bosses in that, I guess? Man. Uh, you know what? It'll never be the best until they, they fucking hire Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. He's <laughs> just gonna make Ice Pond's round terror fight. Yo, oh, hell no. <laughs> until they get him to fucking uh, voice acting, I'll never be satisfied. satisfied. <laughs> Gotham Knights is built to let players approach each challenge with their preferred style and their preferred build. I like that they're trying to do that unique play style. It'll only take a second. Oh, I just noticed that's a Red Robin outfit. Nice. Yeah, nice. yeah. yeah. So we're gonna have uh, different outfits for the uh, characters. So exactly. Yeah. Yeah, like in right the trailer, now, I didn't know if um, Robin was Drake or, or Tim. But after I think seeing the Red Tim. Robin, yeah, it's definitely Tim. He has the Red Robin. Yeah, so the Red Tim. Robin. I definitely feel like playing as Bad Girl right now. Like I like her style. <laughs> yeah, she's very similar to like regular Batman style in the Arkham games. Yeah, kind of stealthy and fast. Like it was cool. Give me a second, guys. Sure. Dad, you're it. It's like a little tag team move there, which I love. Yeah. That's it. I think the most exciting part so far seems like the two player co op. Yeah, definitely. I wish they had like four player co op or something like that. That'd be great. Yeah, that'd be dope because then you can play as all of them at one but time. But I'll settle, I'll settle for two. Not the safest time to take Were they ever two player in like the, on the other Batman games that I never played them? So is it gonna be on like like PlayStation 4 and Xbox or is it gonna be like on PlayStation 5 and Xbox and the new Xbox? It's most likely gonna be um on all major consoles, PC for sure, hundred percent. Uh but uh they haven't announced it this crossway yet. From from my knowledge, they haven't announced it yet. But you know what? Let me let me look it up now. Let's yeah, because twenty twenty one we should have the, the PlayStation five should be out already. And I'm not sure about Xbox if um the new Xbox is gonna be out by twenty twenty one. I think both consoles should be out by. They should be out this December, November around there. They should be out. The yeah, because it looks. It definitely looks like somewhere in between. Like it looks higher than a normal gen game, but mm. it's still like not completely next gen either. I can see it being like cross, like you know, with this this generation and next generation too. All right. So I found an article here by IGN. Uh, let me screen share this so we can read it together. Take off computer sound for now. Uh, there we go. So at BC Fandom, WB announced Gotham Knights, the new Batman game. Right. Uh, so you off. won't be playing as the Dark Knight, supposedly. Supposedly, you won't be playing as the Dark Knight. But I, I don't think that's true. <laughs> yeah, like they, they can always reveal that later. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they might just keep it a secret in the story. And then PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, and PC. So basically, all the next the next gen consoles and this generation of consoles. So that's cool. I'm I definitely I don't see myself okay. picking up a PS5 until late next year, but I can mm -hmm. see me getting this on PlayStation um PlayStation Four. For sure, yeah, it's great. But um, let me read this over because I think it says 
will allow for oh. up to two players to play. Okay, so I, I don't think. But I don't think it means every console. I think it just means your selective console. You can play two players. Uh. Your selective console. Let me keep reading. Uh, scroll down a bit. Skip this. Do, 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 do. I don't see anything that says crossplay. Or maybe they just haven't announced it yet. They might not announce it until later because, like, it's still. This is the first time the game has been announced, or is it like has it been announced and now you guys are finally getting more information on it? This is the first time the game's been announced. Exactly. So you know they could they could reveal more about it later on. So exactly, yeah, they could just uh, reveal it later. But overall, though, I think that game looked dope. Like, I definitely want to like check it out. You know, I mean, it also feels like it's a good starting point for somebody who's not into comics to like play the game. And then kind yeah. of know more about the comics through playing the game, because I feel like the movies try and do their own thing. Like, cause I like just to give a quick history on like how I feel about Batman and everything like that. Yeah, it's course. like I love Batman, but I don't have the much information on actually reading the comics. I watched the Dark Knight trilogy, which is that's one of my favorite trilogies of all um, superhero movies. I think it's no Christopher Nolan did a fantastic job on that series. So that's great. Um, I've watched like the newer Batman movies, like Batman vs Superman, which I hated. Um, what else? The Joker movie, which okay. was really great. That and actually, they they actually said that um, the new Batman movie and the Joker might be in the same universe. Maroof just told me that, and that yeah, thing wow. was exciting for me. Like, cause like I said, I like the fact that they really tackled like mental health and like yeah. why the Joker like on like in a like a psychological way why he would become that and they like really made a character piece that was very human like i feel like with characters like batman and the joker they're so iconic that you can do so many interesting and new things with them i think that it was a step in the right direction like you don't necessarily have to do what marvel's doing marvel is doing a great job and i and when they will definitely go into marvel because i'm i know a lot more about marvel than i know about dc but in general like i feel like marvel is doing a good job at like creating their universe and getting people excited but dc doesn't have to do the same thing i think that they can go their own direction and like with what they're doing with the joker is a good step of just like okay we're not just gonna make a normal superhero movie we're gonna change it up and do something different and this new batman this new batman trailer as you're gonna see because we're gonna watch it it's like it looks it looks darker than the normal mcu film i'll at least tell you that it looks like on the level of darkness of at least the dark knight it doesn't look like they're just trying to go for what MCU is doing. And the fact is, I want them, like DC and Marvel, to give me a completely different vibe. I don't want to try and just have them copy what MCU is doing. I agree, I agree. Because, I like, half the reason why I didn't, and that's the last thing I want to say, because I've been talking for a minute. I just want to say, like, the, um, the, bat, like, what, what's the thing, like, what, what, what's the movie that came out? Like, Wonder Woman, which I haven't seen, but I heard Wonder Woman was great. But then you have stuff like Aquaman. You had like a lot of like little films that came out, and I just like it didn't really, like catch my interest that much because I was just like, man, this is kind of what Marvel's doing. Like Marvel is like always make okay, they make an origin film, then they make a sequel, and then they bring them all together, and it's like I get that already. So it's like, why do I want that with DC? So like that's kind of my reason why I'm, I wasn't really that much into the um what they're calling the DC universe or whatever, like the DC cinematic universe. It's, yeah. It just wasn't for me for right now. But it seems like with the Joker and with this new movie, they're moving in a good direction. I agree. Uh, a few a few things I want to want to add into that. Um, sticking to the to the topic of uh, Joker and Batman, I, I love the mental health aspect of it. I love how they, they incorporated mental health into that. I think if they can do that with the Batman film as well, that'd be great. For sure. Facts. Uh, and have, speaking of uh, small movies, have you seen Shazam? by dc Ooh. at all i slept on shazam because like i said i just got like fatigued i was just like man they keep making the same superhero movies and i bought and i and i really spent a whole month watching all the marvel ones so i'm caught up and i love the marvel cinematic universe but i kind of didn't it almost took me away like okay i don't want to do the same shit with dc like i'm bored already but joker yeah. gave me excitement because i was like this is something that marvel can't do Marvel is never yeah. gonna make a movie. Shazam like is definitely a movie you should check out. I think. But I'll but I'll check it. Like, what's interesting about Shazam? Like, what's like new? Like, what what would you think I would like about that movie? It's definitely a very um, Guardians of the Galaxy type vibe, a little bit, with with the with the cast and everything. It's very. Um, it's a nice. It has a Marvel feel to it, but like in a good mm-hmm. way. You know what I mean? It takes like the, yeah, it takes a Marvel into a DC film, and it's very great. And with this Black Adam movie coming out now, it just 
feels like with the, the rock. So that's gonna be wait, yeah, it's gonna be great. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be all right. So I'm definitely gonna peep that, and definitely gotta peep Wonder Woman. But like I said, I've been kind of on DC. When I see DC make a film, I'm always like a little bit in. It's like I said, like Dark Knight mm -hmm. trilogy was like my. It's still on my, in my opinion, probably the best superhero trilogy and we could probably one day we should really go into it and talk about yeah. like superhero trilogies which ones are our favorites stuff like that that's a great topic but um that's one of my favorites ever and then ever since then like they they haven't really hit it for me like like i said batman versus superman wasn't that great um there was another movie right oh the suicide squad i didn't really like that too much then they made a couple good ones with like the with Wonder Woman and Shazam is like, like as you said, was pretty good. And then Joker was like the next one where I felt like, okay, they're reaching that height of the Dark Knight trilogy. And now this one, this like what we're gonna go into right now, which is the Batman, it really does look like they're upping. Uh, real quick, the I, do wanna, I do wanna, I do wanna try to end it after this Batman one. I feel like we're running a little long. But, uh, sure. Yeah. Thanks. Like, All right. Cool. So, uh, see the trailer. Let's pull up the movie and um, see that real quick. Um, let me, I think I saw some villains in there. I think I saw the penguin, maybe. I don't know if the, uh, are the villains confirmed or no? Uh, I think Riddler is confirmed to be the main villain. Yeah, I figured that. Yeah. I figured yeah. Riddler's like the main villain. Yeah. I heard that, uh, penguin was going to be in the movie. I'm not sure if they showed him. He looked, if he would be, I guess it would be that really big. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what yeah. I figured. Yeah. I figured no, and they saw Catwoman for a second? So. Yeah. Catwoman's great. Oh, that's I dope. Yeah. I, I yeah. like I like the the overall feel of the the movie. It's, it looks like it's gonna be very dark, and I like that. But I don't I don't got a lot to say besides that. The trailer looks great. I'm kind of hyped for it. But so we we did get confirmation this is year two for Batman. So he's pretty. Oh, this is year two. Yeah, year two. That's why I think Robert Pattinson is gonna work fine. He's not that gritty, but he's not like. He's very emotional. He's very mm -hmm. thing, which kind of works for early Batman. So. Yeah, it does. Yeah, he looks. Yeah, very what young. I want to say is like, so a lot of people just judge an actor and not just because of what they're in. Just because he was in Twilight doesn't mean that he's not a good actor. You just didn't get the right material. I feel like this could definitely be a, a role where he can show that he was really good because. When it comes down to like Keith Ledger, a lot of people are like worshiping Heath Ledger, but when he first got announced as a Joker, a lot of people were like, no, this is not gonna work. He's not gonna be a good Joker because of what he did in the past. Like, yeah. but I feel like, I really feel like Robert's gonna have his day with this movie. He already from the trailer. Yeah. Sounds like- yeah, what you said on the whole- um, What you said on the whole, uh, that a good actor could have a bad script is, I thought Ben Affleck was a fine Batman. He was good. good He's pretty good. Yeah, yeah I like. It's him. just that he happened to be in not so stellar movies with bad scripts. That's just the problem. Yeah, exactly. I feel like every every Batman was pretty good from from my in my taste. Like like with um mm -hmm. what's we call with Christian Bale, he was a good one. And um the guy before I forgot in the Michael Keaton films. Yeah, Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. He was also a really good Batman. So like, I don't know if you guys heard this. It hasn't really been a bad Batman for me. There's only sorry only for cutting you off, Josh. Uh, but I don't know if you guys heard this rumor. Sorry for cutting off, Josh. Well, uh, apparently is, Michael Keaton is confirmed to play, be uh, coming back in the Flash movie as a Batman. Really? Because that Flash movie is going to be setting up multiple universes for DC. Okay. DC has that, oh, damn. That's that. Oh, yeah. did you guys hear about the rumor also about Tobey Maguire, that Tobey Maguire is going to be in um the new Doctor Strange movie? Because that's yeah, also going to be because that makes sense to the alternate universe. Anything with alternate yeah. universes, anything is down. So. That's pretty cool, really though, because cool. like, yeah. I know that a lot of people are fans of the older, like with me, I like I love the older Spider-Man films. I love 1981 Batman. Yeah, and exactly, that, that Batman series, so, a lot of people love that, too. So it's like the fact that they can kind of incorporate a little bit of it into the new material without really changing it or having to go too back. It's a great move, I think. For sure, yeah. I agree. Zeke, so what do you think in general about, like, the expectations? Are they, like, low, high, or just, like, they're pretty much... Pretty okay right now no. my my expectations for this movie it looks like um i like the direction they're going for it uh it looks like my they're kind of like in the middle i don't have like high or low expectations mm -hmm. for this uh patterson looks like he might might do pretty okay in the role uh, i like the mystery of uh um enigma <laughs> you know <laughs> so it's yeah. Yeah. um so look, it looks one thing i want to say Oh, my bad. Go ahead. No, no, go, go. Go ahead. I was going to say, like, one thing that I had in mind, it looks like 
this place this movie is going to take place around halloween so i'm thinking okay. what if this is like a long halloween kind of movie where they have multiple villains pop in as the real culprit and eventually maybe it's enigma or maybe it's someone else that would be kind of cool. like the origins batman origins type thing yeah like yeah that. So, origins i think was based on long halloween so. yeah 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 definitely so i think i think that uh yeah that could work because i did see uh it looks like they have multiple buildings in there for sure mm-hmm. i mean that's Josh, overall that, any explanation for you like i said i feel like it's i remember when i first saw the trailer for batman versus superman and like i said i, I was i thought it was going to be a good movie and it was <laughs> it was far from a good movie but this movie like I'm, i'm getting good feelings from it but i also feel like you know let's wait till the next show that comes let's wait till the next one and then we'll really have a good grasp of it but my first impression is though i really feel like robert pattison like he knows this is his role and like he has to play it well because like i said there's never been a bad batman yet like with the joker you already you you can argue that jared leto is like the weaker joker and even though i i don't think he's even that bad but you can argue that leto is the fucking weakest joker but with batman all the batman's played him pretty well so it's like he knows he has to go hard and i feel like when someone has the pressure on them i think they're going to succeed with that yeah so, he's not um, a bad actor either but, yeah exactly yeah. he's been in other things it's just people know him mainly for twilight but yeah of course. you know yeah. i th- i think i think he's going to do a pretty good job and i think that um overall the tone looks great um i love the fact that the riddler is going to be the villain this time it, it seems like you know i like the joker but it's like now that the joker has his own movie and they're moving in that direction i like that they're putting more emphasis on the rogue gallery batman has that's that's great you know what i mean instead of just doing joker over and over and yeah, like i said it looks pretty good and we'll see what happens with it yeah uh yeah. So, something that actually caught my eyes uh the riddler <laughs> um because it's like he's not really like a like a big big villain you know which is i'm glad they're going with him and making him like a serious threat which is great he's always yeah. been really cool for me i always like the riddler mm-hmm. same i feel like they're, they're they're trying to make him more of a serious threat because uh the only other riddler we have in movies is kind of like a comedy character and riddler can yeah, be both exactly, comedy yeah. and serious threat in the comics so. yeah so that already shows that they're trying to do different things with it so like i said it's like as long as they're trying different things and they're working with it i guess all we have to do is go with the open mind and keep watching the trailers until it comes out but um like i said i can't i'm not going to say i'm like super excited because remember i saw batman superman the first trailer i thought that was pretty good like like i, I remember saying to my dad oh i can't wait to see this and i'm like no nah. that wasn't it though <laughs> the first <laughs> the first was superman the fall. that batman the versus fall. superman that oh, shit, okay, uh, okay, okay, gotcha. oh oh no but then again with me and this is this could be another topic when we can talk more about superheroes eventually like um i've never been i never really liked superman in general any of his movies none of his movies really catch my eye i never liked the originals with christopher reeve i hated superman returns man of steel was boring and he just never did it for me so i get you uh, superman okay. is a overpowered character and i feel like naturally he makes like a very interesting uh villain in a lot of uh like things you know because he's like yeah. a really really straightforward good guy you know and when yeah, you yeah that's why i would want to put i would want to pick your guys brains a little bit about like how would you guys go about creating a superman film for 20 i don't know 2025 like how would you do that and make a reboot for superman that would work with our times right now because i just feel like he's always been more like a goody two shoes kind of character and he's overpowered and i'm like how does that translate to the world that we live in and how could it connect to other people i would want to pick your guys brain with that that's comic book thing you you, guys, you definitely wow, have to message. you definitely have to put uh superman in the position of uh morality right so it's like okay i got to defend my father or protect this uh school bus or whatever something just off the top of the head right it's like put him against things like impossible choices you know because he's superman he can do anything you gotta put him in a position of impossible choice and that's what makes a good story i feel with superman because like um we all struggle with morality and you know making decisions and stuff like that but you know and that's like something anyone can relate to no one can relate to being in human strength and all that mm-hmm. stuff definitely exactly. i agree i agree so my favorite superman piece of media of all time is probably Smallville. Yeah, and that we, we saw very oh, yeah. early. Well, I, that's the only superhero that's the only Superman thing that's ever like interested me. 
at all. Like, I want to watch small. And I think that could be a good basis for a movie, honestly, if they do it mm-hmm. right with an, an origin story where he's not that powerful yet. But it, it, it definitely would take some time. I do agree with Zeke, though. Putting in, in like, morality and human choices where you have to, like, question his humanity, question his, uh, you know, Kryptonian life. I think that's the best way to go. Yeah. Either that or just do an injustice movie and make him a villain. Exactly, yeah. Like, yeah. uh, something well, I, I don't know, uh, he, he gets control, the red kryptonite, something. There's so many options you can do. But, uh, besides that, I think the first Superman movie, uh, the, the latest one from this universe, the latest one, um, they had the right idea, you know? Yeah, Don't mind, the, Man of Steel. Yeah, I think, they, I think also, they also did have a good idea, just not good execution. Yeah, no. not, not great execution of that, but I yeah. like the idea, gritty Superman, you know, he comes with the beard and stuff, and they had a lot of, a lot of good ideas, just not, the execution was horrible mm-hmm. on that one. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Superman don't got a, as good as a track record as Batman. Batman has a lot of good movies on his belt. So, so I do want to end things here because we're running a little long and stuff's gonna have to start happen. And I honestly didn't have anything else really planned for this thing. So uh, yeah, no, we can end it here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this second episode of Geek Out. I think it's progress. I think we're doing fine. Exactly. Uh, yeah, this is Empire time. Strikes Back. <laughs> this is Empire Strikes Cars Back. 2, bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, eat platanos. <laughs> <laughs> next time join us for I guess the game game discussion when next time we do this thing oh that's gonna be crazy gonna be man long I'm gonna and be out I'm gonna I'm 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 bring out this guy <laughs> this entire time oh bro. no <laughs> like um, I'm ready uh, I'm ready for this fucking discussion man but yeah, yeah so we'll can... definitely see you the next time Um, I'll post all the social media stuff like after you know, I think it's talking and then I hope you guys have a dope time. I hope you guys enjoyed what you watched and we're going to be back and be more consistent with our trip very soon. Yeah, you can follow all of us on our social media stuff in the description. It'll be there. Uh, yeah, no, I hope you guys enjoy and stick with us for the long haul. Yeah. Any final words, Zeke? Zeke? No, nah, you guys pretty much said it all. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it was right. fun, man. It was a blast. That's, that's good. it. All right, so we'll catch you the next time, right? Peace. Peace.